All righty. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever you guys are in the time zone uh, accordingly. Uh, and this is our monthly call with the community to discuss the topics related to the growing, growing and sustaining of the Zeek community and Zeek project overall. And uh, we in this call, this is recorded and monitored, so we will be sharing this call with the public and uh, once the call is over. And then I will just start and uh, go ahead and ask for the updates uh, about the Zeek technical side, if Robin, you would like to share any updates on that part. Sure. Um, so the news of the day is that uh, 5.0 is really, really close at this point. So I think we might be code freezing for a release candidate uh, today, maybe tomorrow, Pacific time. <laughs> um so that is it's it's i think mostly um done at this point we are on the we're waiting for one last memory leak that still needs to be tracked down on the broker side christian is still working on the management framework um actually i let i think i let him talk about about that but but um first of all maybe so just basically the the general thing is so we'll, we'll as usual we will um, freeze we will put out a release candidate for testing and then it would be really helpful for people to um, well give that um, uh, a try and tell us if they see anything unusual um, either in existing functionality and the new functionality whatever they they spot any any kind of feedback is helpful also in terms of performance um, if you see any any differences uh, for the um, for the worse or for the better even. Um, anything is, is good to know there. Um, I don't think, I, I think I, at, at one of the, the, the prior meetings, I summarized what are the main things in, in 5.0. So I'm not going into that, but maybe the the, the most uh, recent merges that we did or the, on the larger side, at least, uh, um, so Spicy went in. So I think we didn't have that at, at the last meeting yet. So the, the big merge that Spicy is now part of Zeek itself. Um, that has happened. So any, anybody building uh, Zeek 5.0 will automatically have Spicy Builder. And um, then just this week on the broker side, we merged in the um, the internal re-architecture that, that we have been working on for a while. And uh, one particular feature that is coming with is a WebSocket interface for sending events into Zeek or subscribing to events out of Zeek. So that is now in there's a small documentation page for that, which kind of tells you how to do that from an external client. Um, there's some testing code if you if you need some some Python, for example, to look at. So it's not possible to connect to Zeek and uh, send in or receive events from pretty much any scripting language um, that can speak speak WebSocket. Um, it's a JSON-based transport format at the moment. Um, yeah, so the management framework that is something I pass on. To, to Christian for an update. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Robin. So yeah, there's been a lot of work going into that lately. And uh, the, the particular focus at the uh, sort of tail end of this release cycle has been to basically ensure that you can actually run a cluster operationally, so decent log management, log rotation, and so forth, um, and also better error handling so that when something goes wrong, as you bring up nodes in the cluster, um, you get you know a useful output all the way out in the in the client where you would interact with the whole thing, and so. Um, much of that has come together pretty late. <laughs> and so the plan for this right now is that there will be some final bits landing sort of as the testing group is already chewing on the release candidate. Um, and I'm finalizing documentation. And if you guys are interested in playing with this and getting your hands on it, then look out for a posting in the development channel where you know we'll be announcing it and then um, we'll take it from there. We might do a demo session where people like, can can ask stuff or you know like uh, sort of explore things a little further. Um, and then sort of a little further down the road, we'll do sort of the the other things that you might expect, like like a blog posting and maybe a webinar or something like that. Um, so this is all coming up. But for now, the focus is on sort of the final touches, and I think it's pretty exciting stuff. I think this is much closer to how you would expect cluster management to work in this day and age. So this is this is cool. I think that's all I have. I, Thank you, Robin. <laughs> and I can confirm that. It's really nice to see this coming together. And, yeah. and it just feels much more natural than, than what Zeek Control is putting in place. So um, yeah, I think that was the development update. Uh, back to you, Fatima. I have a question. 
Oh, yeah. Is it, yeah, right. is it, is it too late for a PR that just changes a comment? <laughs> uh, not yet, no, it's not too late okay. yet, but it needs to be soon. <laughs> I'll try and do it today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Any other questions? All right. All right. Well, thanks, Robin and Christian, for sharing the updates um, on the technical side. Um, all right. So I think um, on the testing and training side, I can give like a quick update. So uh, as Robin mentioned, that 5.0 is going to be released soon. Then um, I think Ashish is all kind of like getting ready uh, for testing that branch out and um and let know and let everyone know if he finds any kind of like issue or bug on the training side uh we have some exciting news so last month we had one day event for the zeke project training where we offered the introduction to zeke training in the first half and then the advanced zeke scripting in the second half and it was very very well attended um so we got almost 100 uh, registrants and uh over 56 uh, out of them 56 were uh, able to attend virtually so we had like pretty pretty decent attendance and uh, we didn't run into any kind of issue or anything so it was pretty smooth and after the training was over we got like a really good feedback uh positive uh mostly positive feedback there were a few comments about um if we can get some advanced clusterized um training like how you can run zeke in production cluster and I know that we have been talking about that uh, recently, Christian, and then I'm just looking at you because I want to reach out to you about how we can offer a training where people can experience running Zeek in a cluster environment and if we can just get them like, started in how you can actually run Zeek in production. So uh, I will reach out to you with that because we, we thought that it might not be a topic of interest because mostly you know introduction of introduction to Zeek covers how you run Zeek standalone and how you can like get your feet wet in Zeek land and how you do scripting with Zeek but I think we got a, quite a few people who were asking about hey can you share the uh, network architecture diagrams where you can deploy Zeek in cluster environment and how you deploy it and where you would you deploy it and we realized that it will be better to cover that in how you run Zeek in cluster mode in different environments so we got feedback on that part so I, I think now we can kind of like concur that people would be interested if we give that training out that how you run zeek in cluster mode so i'll reach out to you and then we can uh, figure it out that how we want to do that um so that was like an oh, kind of like kind of like an overall update on the zeek training part other thing was uh, a lot of people were asking us before the training that they couldn't, for some reason, the, they had like conflict in the uh, in the calendars and they couldn't dedicate the whole day for the training. So they were asking if the training will be recorded. So this time we recorded the training, the whole training session. And um, still people are asking if we can make it available. So I have the training uh, recorded and then uh, I'm just going to let everyone know that by the end of this week, we will be releasing the uh, recording of the training session, both the sessions. So yeah, I'll announce that as well. So that was the um, a brief highlight of uh, what is going on with training. And hopefully we will we'll do the similar kind of event, depending on if we go hybrid or in person um, in the uh, in the Zeek week. So we will, we will uh, do a training session in Zeek week as well. So that was the pretty much update from the Zeek training side. And if there are any questions, then we are more than happy to answer. Cool. Well, no so questions, but just a comment. It's great news that the training went forward so well. I'm not surprised to see the high demand for it. I bet um, there'll be demand for more training sessions between Zeke weeks. So it's good that we get in the habit of it. And um, the idea of extending the curriculum seems great as well. Excellent. I did have one question, though. How long was the training? So um, the training was from eight to five the whole day. So how it was oh, it was okay. from eight to twelve. It, it was introduction to introduction to Zeke, but we gave like small short breaks in the in the like four hour period of time, and then from twelve to one it was break, and then from one to four thirty it was Ashish's training like Zeke scripting, and he gave like last thirty minutes for any kind of Q and A to people or if people want to like explore anything else with the training curriculum. So uh, it was like a quite 
quite long of of event. That's why a lot of people were like, we cannot dedicate the whole day, but we are like, we, they were like in and out for the sessions. So um, it was overall kind of like good. But uh, yeah, we will we will think in th how we can do better, like instead of just having the whole two set of trainings in one day, if we can split them out in two days, then that would give people more flexibility to join. And um, yeah, so that we will keep in mind next time that how we can do better in scheduling the trainings. Okay, thank you. I'm looking forward to watching that. Sure, thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll announce it shortly by the end of this week in one of the Zeek channels, maybe in news or something, or maybe in training, because if you're if you're part of the training um, channel, then you should be aware of all the updates. All, the whole curriculum that was used during the training, both advanced and introduction, is available on the GitHub and it's like free and you can just go and download it. And we use Docker images to do that. So everything is online and uploaded. It's just like the recording I have to work on and then make it public. Did the coding stuff change from a few years ago or is it basically the same content? Steve, I didn't quite catch that. What was the question? Sorry, there was a truck accelerating right as I asked it. Um, did the, the intro to Z coding uh, content change or is it pretty much what we've been uh, running with for a while? Uh, we changed it a little bit. So we used the new, like the latest ZLD release, first of all, to use during the trainings. And we did change mm -hmm. some part of how we do the logging analysis with different tools. Um, like how the Zeek um, spit out all the logs and how you can do the log analysis part. So we changed mm -hmm. that a little bit so that it's more interactive with the people now. Instead of just going over the logs and showing them the different things, we made it in more exercise kind of like format this time. Cool. And then uh, popping back to your uh, management framework uh, idea for revision, are you going to uh, go with only 5.0 or are you going to cover both pre and post all these changes we just talked about or what are you going to do? I think that's probably for me, Steve, right? Um, so that's a great point. So I think the idea is going to be for uh, for folks who are used to Z control to compare what's there now to what they're used to and uh, expectation management to basically make it clear that that it's a subset and, and a little different. Um, uh, so there's okay. So there's there's this progression sort of in in what the management framework can provide, and some of this lands in 5.0, and the remainder in 5.1. Um, and I think there will be repeated sessions to cover this stuff because I don't think it can be this sort of one go uh, sort of explains the whole thing. Does that help at all? So it's it's um, it's yeah. a process. Perfect. Okay, cool, great. Um, thanks. All these are great, great questions, and um, thanks for asking. All right, so if there are no other questions, then we all can get our 15 minutes back from this meeting. <laughs> all right, take care, everyone, and thank you so much for joining again. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, folks. Bye-bye. <clears throat>